will give in to your pride. So this is Advanced Dual Shell, which is uh, not uh, completely ready yet, but Francesco here has given me some access to his uh, private domain or whatever computer stuff, I guess. So I'm just going to log in here and show you roughly what this... Um, uh, what well, the format and stuff is like so far. So you can see it's all web-based. So I'm here on my internet browser. You don't need to download anything. You just log in here. And that's... Uh, it's all uh, text-based as well on the side. So I see this dual room with deck constructor and profile are the only functions working just now. So we take a look at profile really quick. You see here it loads up your profile, there's your username, you can change your password, there's your rankings and results, uh, customize your card sleeves, uh, etc. Uh, will the profile pictures and card sleeves be viewable by your opponent? I would assume not since it's uh, client side, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to, to add the image, it's not uh, added yet. Mm, okay, but in general, like by the finished project, your opponent won't see your profile picture or sleeves, will they? No, yeah, it will. Uh, the profile picture will be not uh, Yu Gi Oh related, so there are there will, will be not problems about copyright. Oh, right, Since yeah, I sleeves. see. Because you can just link to like Imgur as your sleeves and stuff, and it will okay. just download for your opponent? Yeah, yeah ah, I see. Exactly. All right, so that's the profile section. Uh, deck constructor. So. This is our deck here, and as you can see, all the images and stuff are grayed out currently. Uh, but once the card image database gets put into the game, then obviously we'll be able to see it. But yeah, you can search with card names and stuff. Does the search function work currently? Yeah, you can. Uh, there is not the complete database. There are only Dragonity cards. But, uh, Dragonity. Okay, let's try Dragonity cards. Uh. Nothing coming up when I search Dragoonity. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I see them here. All right. Uh, I think this is working. Ah, I see. Yeah, so we have Gadir. If you, you ducks, you can double click on the on the cars to add it. To add to them. Oh, I see. Uh, you see all the text and stuff on the side here with the cards. Uh, text and then you can just click them to add them double clicking adds it to the to the main deck so that's pretty cool because DN you have to click and drag which is a bit annoying and going back we've got the dual room so I'm just gonna join the queue now with you uh, let's see okay so clicking dual room I'm in then we join ranked queue click join the queue and the expected time up here and then match found accept so click accept and it should be loading up yep is your rating and your experience I guess is that is this it yes rolls the dice automatically. Uh, the rating the rating BR uh, means bronze because the the quail will be split in bronze silver gold platinum like uh, League of Legends Mm, okay, that's cool. And uh, when you win the dice roll here, so I've won the dice roll, I have to click my portrait to go first or click yours to go second, right? Yep. So I click, I'll go first. And the cards aren't working just now. Um, so that's why you can't see my hand. Uh, but I'll show you guys a screenshot really quick of. Uh, what it should look like. So this was a screenshot that Francesco sent me of his hand. So you will see the cards come up like this. And yeah, I mean, then you can click your cards and do things from there. But in the meantime, my cards are basically not working. But you have the yeah, same... You can... For now, life points works, uh, changing the faces. Try to change the faces. Yeah. So click standby there. Uh, if you click standby, now try to click the rufies. Uh, yeah. You see, you can uh, go back, unlike the end. Oh yeah. So you can uh, take back and stuff easier. Yep. And then uh, main yep. phase. And then gaining life points, etc. It's all the same as before. 
and battle phase and then we can click turn and it's basically just like dn yeah yep. i said it's a copycat of dn i never i never negated it yeah so that's exactly what people want we just want essentially to play how, how we did in dn so we have the simple chat function here the the did i click turn yeah and you start again and buying and buying and buying Okay, so if I go to your turn now, will you be able to activate some cards? Will I see anything? Mm, I'm not going. I'm not able to activate card yet. I'm still script scripting all the the things. Uh, okay. I've, right now, I only scripted about a drawing for deck and put back. Mm. Uh, I'm is a is a work in progress. <laughs> uh, also, you can see the the buttons uh, in the. On the side of the field, PS and uh, GP. Yeah, and uh, it means PS is uh, meant to start a pendulum summon about the miscommunications. Mm, right. Okay. Uh, so you can see when pendulum summon starts and when it ends. And uh, GP is change visa. Is to see I'm going to uh, end this visa. Are you okay with it? So you click main phase and then you click change phase and then that asks your no, opponent. If you want to ask your opponent if it's okay to go to the next phase, you can click GP. It's not uh, mandatory to click it. But, oh, okay, right. Uh, I see. Some cards like uh, Adder, the Monarch, and uh, things like that. Uh, people usually ask at the end of main phase one uh, and, uh, and they yeah. could uh, bring to miscommunication error. So that's uh, that's really it. That's uh, what we have here, guys. This this is the main uh, kind of pre-alpha <laughs> stage that we're at here. So we've got login at least, and you can see the rough layout. You can kind of expect that it's just going to be a very very simple, lightweight text base uh, style, and yeah, hopefully we'll see it in action soon. So uh, anything else that you wanted to point out before? Uh, I guess we. Move on. Uh, maybe you can try. Maybe you can try it on the the phone before going. On the phone. Yep, on the smartphone. Oh, We've okay. That uh, on the smartphone works. So yeah, um, it'll it'll work on the the your phone as well without any issues. Um, I will try get a video of that up at some point, but for now, um, this is what we have here. So thanks guys for watching, and thank you to Francesco for uh, showcasing this. No problem. For those of you who are unaware, it is uh, the new project going forward for Dueling Network, I guess. Um, you could uh, you could say that. I'm here with the developer, uh, Francesco. Hi. He's, uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about what Advanced Dual Shell is. So uh, take it away. Ex explain for us what this program is that you're okay. working on. Hi there, everyone. Um, so I'm Francesco, the, the developer of the um, Advanced Dual Shell. And to go straight to the point, Advanced Dual Shell is a copycat of Dueling Network. It's a project I started almost uh, a year and a half ago because uh, of my university. I'm uh, a student of ET engineering. And uh, in my intention, uh, it was going to uh, take the N and uh, rewrite it from the scratch to correct all the def deficiencies that the N uh, had like uh, flash player dependence, not uh, no, not mobile uh, uh, compatibility. Uh, usually, you had to do some tricks to use the N on the on the smartphone, and uh, also uh, there there was some problem with uh, stressed characters in the chat and uh, uh, other things uh, about the. Um, the quickness of the graphic and the fact there aren't uh, so there aren't supports for uh, tournament and uh, things like that. So I started this uh, project and when the N is uh, has dead because of the N N A N A S, I started again to work on it and now I'm uh, near a good point. Probably, I'm scripting all the actions, uh, and that's all. That that is, that's what ADS is. 
So basically, all together, we can just uh, expect coming forward in the future is basically just DN, like kind of like the same format, the same kind of layout, but it's essentially going to be like just playing Yu-Gi-Oh online with the exact same way that you would expect on DN, where you no you manually use your cards. You wait yeah, but for. it's like a yeah, real but. life simulator rather than automatic dueling system. Is essentially what what it is, correct? Exactly, it's a manual dueling simulator, but. I've added some some actions that in the end uh, weren't uh, possible, like uh, multiple targeting and uh, uh, targeting uh, a uh, targeting a card that uh, is uh, on your side of the field, linking two cards uh, um, because of the the equipment uh, or Fendi chain when it targets a card, usually uh, links. Uh, uh, with it, and uh, this will be uh, this will be possible to show to um, write up on the card uh, when you put the mouse on the card linked with another. There will be a symbol of the card, the, the card, uh, the card, the first card is linked with. <laughs> There's going to be all kinds of like new features that resulted in bad communication on dn for example lots yeah. of judge calls because of like people not declaring targets and chain links and exactly kind of stuff, but... uh, the, the, the the aim is that to resolve all the problem of miscommunications that uh, is the first way people are uh, used to shit on the end yeah. uh also i will add the um, probably the re replay system that uh, uh, will not show the deck uh, to the people, but only the the match. Because if you go on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, the replay show also the deck uh, the opponent uh, played, the whole deck. Uh, instead, uh, uh, ADS will only show the cards that are, are being played on the field. So if you don't want to uh, show your uh, your world deck, but only a match you did with it, uh, you can with the replay system. And uh, I also added um, a tab on the card descriptions with the uh, rulings, uh, um, jurisprudence about cards, uh, all the things a judge uh, usually had to say multiple time because uh, I don't know, uh, a ruling that is asked often can be added to this tab. So. Um, a people, uh, a person uh, before calling for a judge can check the, the tab with all the the rulings and say, okay, probably the judge will will, uh, will say this, so it's useless to call. All right, okay, so it's uh, going to have a lot more features as well with regards to just communication problems, but it's going to have the same format of uh, using your cards manually and calling a judge. I'm assuming yeah. it's still going to be there. It's still going to have like volunteers who yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. website. Okay. And uh, uh, I guess the most important question that uh, people would really be want to asking is how exactly is this going to be any different from DN when it comes to like actually being on, on the internet? Because, you know, D DN was taken down because of the fact that it had the pictures on the website. So what, what, how is this going to be any different? Surely you just get shut down after like a few months or even a year or something like that. Okay. Um, basically, uh, I will try a suggestion that my lawyer uh, asked me. And, uh, and uh, um, I, the ser basically, the server will never know which car is going to use, which car pick is going to be abused. I will make uh, the, why the uh, DN, the, DN, the DN client has to send uh, the image to the server to be processed for what I have, um, I, I've, I've seen. I've seen. Uh, simply, I will make uh, the users to uh, uh, provide the, the pick by themselves, like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Lite uh, does. Yu-Gi-Oh! Lite is up on the Apple Store and nobody is going to shut it down because it, does, it doesn't provide up uh, pick, it doesn't provide picks. Simply the user will add to uh, provide the picks and not uh, by adding 
a string uh, on the end of the link, uh, but uh, uh, it will have to do some something on manual. So uh, I can be charged uh, to give car picks uh, automatically. I don't know if it's uh, clear. I can uh, reformulate. If so like, uh, <clears throat> in, a, in simple terms, you would log in to ADS and there would be somewhere when you log in where you would have to put a different link to download the the images from a different yeah. server. Yes, exactly. Simply, I will not give uh, the pics automatically. Uh, putting a link on the end of uh, .com, uh was uh, the was probably I'm not sure about this. Was probably the the biggest problem about uh, why the end was shut down again because. Uh, you didn't, uh, uh, you continued to provide the, the, the image, uh, simply shared the link. Users didn't have to do something, actually. Mm. Instead, okay. when, when you, with my system, the user has to provide the, the link uh, doing something. They don't have just to change the link. So essentially for people who aren't really too understanding of how, you know, servers and like the law works, Basically, because of the fact that Dueling Network forced you, well, not really forced you, but because of the links on Dueling Network uh, was attached to the main URL and it was automatic for the user, that made it illegal because it was just kind of instantly downloaded. Whereas what you're going to do to bypass that is just have the base program of ADS be empty of any pictures and then the user logs in and they have to put the pictures through a different link onto ADS Exactly. So it, it, it's the, essentially going to be client side rather than server side. Exactly. That is it. Um, I guess it will, will be a, a big client side uh, game. Not a lot of um, actions are did uh, by the server because uh, they are not needed. Uh, um, the end uh, used it to do a lot of uh, action through the server even the ones that aren't needed. And probably that's what uh, made the end uh, being shut down. So there's, there's not gonna be any flash used on ADS? No, it's, uh, it's uh, developed with the JavaScript and uh, this uh, will make uh, it uh, av available on uh, mobile instantly. Mm. Uh, as soon as uh, the ADS come out, uh, uh, I have, I will have only to make some tweaks about um, the, the the screen uh, dimensions, but uh, basically you can uh, when the alpha or the beta or ADS will come out, you can you could play it on the on the mobile phone with no problems. And I guess that's uh, on to the next point. I guess uh, really finally, we probably people just want to know well, wh when exactly can we expect to see this? Uh, when can we start uh -huh. testing it or? When is it, is it even going to be live soon, perhaps this year? Okay, uh, uh, I'm not going to release it on, uh, to the public uh, in 2016. But uh, someone, uh, probably some YouTubers, uh, some uh, people that uh, won the ticket uh, in some uh, contest I did uh, in this time, uh, they, uh, they could try the alpha. Because uh, right now uh, the server would uh, cost too much to me, uh, so I I would uh, cost only a thousand, uh, a, a thousand or a hundred. I don't know is what. <laughs> which people. one? Th I don't know. Is it hundred or thousand? What I I mean? One Hold zero on. zero. Uh, one one oh oh. Yeah, one hundred. Yeah. 100, okay. Just 100, 200 people uh, I will host uh, at start. So it will not be an open uh, alpha, an open beta. Uh, I will, but uh, I can give uh, an actual date. I don't want to because uh, I don't want to, to say that uh, it's going to come out in a particular date and then it won't. I hope to make the the cruised alpha available in the, the end of january 2017 
and uh, the open beta around uh, March, April 2017, I hope. I don't know if it's going to be. So what's uh, stopping you from releasing it a bit faster? Is it really, is it just down to costs of the server? No, uh, it, uh, I'm... I think... Okay, okay, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, I'm not working on the IDS. I have a university. I work as a developer because I'm a developer. Okay, so essentially you're just busy with like real life commitments and stuff, I guess. Exactly. Do you, do you have also, a team or something with you that helping no. you develop and stuff? No, I'm I'm alone, and for now I want to be alone for a, re a lot of reasons. Basically. The less uh, pe less people works uh, on uh, this project, uh, less uh, uh, this project is uh, open to low consequences. L uh, L A L A W. What do you mean? Um, if there are if there are many people working on this project, uh, um, lawyers uh, could have. Uh, uh, more uh, hooks to attack me oh, because right, uh, you, they can see okay uh, this is not an uh, this is not more uh, an amateurial work uh, is uh, something you, you are doing with a team uh, so it's going to be a little professional and also I'm seeing this as a training because I'm I dream to do uh, video games in the future so um doing this alone uh, is teaching me how uh, video games works actually on the programming side okay cool well i guess that's a fair enough overview i think that's everything that uh we could really realistically cover at this stage in the game okay uh, uh, now i'm going to give you a link where uh, you can see the actual game if you can just wait a moment because the fire, the fire will sure be will be. Mm -hmm. Hold on, please. So we should have a little preview just now. Mm -hmm. So we should um, have a little preview. Okay. Yep. Okay, uh, let me if it's if this work. Hold on, I'm I'm, I'm watching if uh, all these works. Okay, oh, it should take your time. Okay, uh, tell me if this link works, please. Uh, I'm going to send you it. Uh... Uh, loading. Oh. Um. It's opening. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it. It's a uh, username. 
Okay, just yes, wait a moment. I have to give you uh, to add it to, look, to the database. All right, sure. Yeah. I will delete, delete these after I'm done. Okay. Okay, if you had a block enabled, uh, disable it to reload the page because uh, I don't know why for now a block uh, blocks uh, some elements in the game. You want me to uh, disable ad block for it? Yeah. Okay. For now, I mean, there is no ads in the in the game. It's just that uh, is hidden some um, game elements. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's fine. I'm trying to figure in. Uh, I think I've disabled it. I mean it's uh, it's working. I just see username and password, so I just need to log in. Passwords. Uh, what? Sorry. Um, wait. Uh, I'm I'm writing it. Oh okay. Uh, this is the username and this is the password okay tell me when uh... okay so i'll put in the temporary username and password and log in hey connected Okay, so uh, I think you're lagging because I'm connected to you, your <laughs> server or something. And I think it'd be easier if you just uh, type to me because okay. it could be just lagging a lot. But I can see here now that I'm logged in. There's a the deck constructor, dual room, adventure mode, replays, ranking, profile, friend list, and settings. And, so this is all browser based here if you guys can see um there is yeah so it's completely browser based so let's go into the do room here and see if that works nothing happens when i click on uh, d the do room yeah nothing's working when i click on them um yeah. Maybe it's just a bit of this. Uh, I really can't hear you, sorry. Hold on. You can try using your mobile data for uh, Discord, maybe. That'll be more stable. Yeah, uh, hold on. Can you hear me better now? Uh, yeah, I think so. But by the way, do you want me to hide the URL for the, on the video? The URL will uh, will not work. After. It won't work. Yeah. You're really you're really uh, quiet, by the way. If... It's stable, but you're very quiet. <clears throat> Now it's better. No, it's it's super... better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, all right, let me start this part again where I log in. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm checking why. Okay, now you're quiet again. Ah, 
Oh, okay. Is uh, you start with the, the. Yeah, the deck didn't construct doesn't work though. Should I wait in the queue or? Okay, uh, wait in the queue. I'm going to join the queue too. Okay. So you can see the. Match found. Oh, automatic dice roll. Yeah. Try the chat. Text um, based chat works. Something's loading. Chose to go second. So this is all programmed in Java? JavaScript. I see. Okay. I can't see my cards. I think it's drawing cards, but everything's uh, black. Because, uh, probably because uh, you uh, uh, right now the, the cards are uh, are a bit uh, EV in dimensions, so you had to to cache it. It took to cache it, but uh, tr try to click uh, turn. Uh, turn. Okay. You see, I I've draw, I draw it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably is because uh, you can see the card. Probably because uh, my. Um, I can't hear you now. <laughs> As you say, yeah, it's because uh, right now um, the card URL uh, is I uh, know oh, is you can see your cards. Only the frame, not the pics. I can't even see the frame. It's just black. Can you see? Send me a screen, please. Uh, can I see what? Sorry. Connect with the. Uh... Oh, okay. Screenshot. Uh, let me take one. So I'm in the deck constructed you now. I'm just waiting for the pictures to load. They're all gray. They're all gray, gray pictures. I guess that's intended. Okay. Okay, now you try now to to enter the queue. Uh, okay. Uh, how do I exit this back? Okay. 